My name is Jason, but who I am is not apparent. Living in the present moment is not a practice that I have mastered. With my eyes I gaze upon a beautiful veil, an inner haunting whispering that things I see are not as they pretend to be. What is this insatiable curiosity? Why does my heart deny the evidence of my senses? How did I become so disconnected from the synthetic associations I see all around me? I meet another human and they instantly flee, sensing a deviation they misunderstand. They walk away, not understanding that I looked at the structuring of their personality, for I'm blind to the cultural dressings that mean so much to the living dead. When I come in contact with other souls, I see their guardedness, the layers they have armored themselves within. My own soul cries a lamentation of loneliness, though I sit in a room full of spirits too busy being people. A curse on this divinity. My immortality has uncovered this vast gulf of what I am compared to what I want to be. These traits of a God within that just seeks to be one of the herd. But I don't fit in. The magnitude of my understanding has hollowed my heart. This engine that keeps me, me alive. This undead machine that I'm trapped inside. <sighs> Heavy is the head who wears the crown is an old saying it's not mine. Heavy is the heart who peers through the veil. The weight of the past has impressed upon my soul this wearisome fortitude to share what others are prepared to receive while swallowing this acid of information I dare not convey. Sometimes I curse this God, this scribe who has etched his revelations upon the gossamer fragility of my spirit as if I was strong enough to bear them. I revolt against this peace, the path that I have fought. The insincerity in others fuels the furnace within me. I betray myself every time I bite my tongue. I try to be free of anger as I censure these puppets of a pretended reality who seem to have no purpose other than getting in my way. I am a ghost dragging chains that I despise. A phantom of what I want to be but seem to never become. At this crossroads, I stand at the river Styx, looking back on a past I can't believe I survived in a future I don't want to endure, not in these decarments. Who I am cannot be separated from who I strive to be, but the distance between the two souls widens the more I strive to join one with the other. Though I am told I am alive, the inner chords of a silent song within my soul sings to me otherwise. I am a shadow unable to comprehend the light, a corrupted vessel meant to hold something entirely else. My name is Jason, but this is the name of a shell that enshrouds a thing I can't define. I am me, though what I am is still unknown to me, clinging to the lies I thought were truth that I've often sought. A curse on this treacherous curiosity. I study myself, my environment, and those other souls that sail the simulated sea. I search and notice how unreal are my experiences, that I am most alive in my moments of solitude, my silent time spent with myself. When I focus on something, I'm alive. But when I begin to study the world around me, one of two things happens. My mind drifts back through time to the past, and I relive memories, or I am thrust far into the future by the fertility of my imagination. Both are just as real to me as many of my moments spent in this false reality. Though I am more than I suppose myself to be, the potential I acquire in the day is erased by this simulacrum when I sleep. No matter my gains, this nervous system anchors me to a sea I no longer want to swim. But I cling to this buoy, adrift in this abyss, unable to let go and sink into the comfortable deep until I know for sure that I have reached every soul I was meant to touch. I'm ready to go, but my life is not my own. I yearn for what my potential foreshadows, eager to be more than I've become while weighed down by the knowledge I know that in this life it won't come to pass. Break free or die trying, my friends.